What's good, YouTube? It's Chuka the Barber. I got a cut for y'all here today. This cut is like a high top fade with a slant with a part. Part kind of looks like a Star Trek symbol. I don't know. We might call it something like that, but let's get right into it. I'm a shampoo and conditioner here with our Pro Rich Men's Shampoo and Conditioner. Then I'm going to blow dry it a little bit, pick it out, grab my wall detailers, oil them up, and I'm going to get started with the initial guideline. All right, we're going to do a slight drop in the back. I'm not, it's not a drop fade or anything like that, but I'm just giving myself plenty of space to blend this out real tight. So um, I'm going to begin it in the front, just below the C cup, about mid C cup range. And then we're going to drop it slightly in the back. Um, so I'm going to get that guideline in, clean them up. This is actually one of my favorite cuts I've done in a while. I think it came out real dope. Um, and you know, the way I did the part, um, it just all came together. So make sure you watch it to the end, see the whole process. I'm gonna put the shaver on them. I asked them, always check with my clients to make sure that their skin isn't sensitive to the shavers. He was cool with it. So that worked, I put that on him. Now I'm gonna grab the wall seniors. Now these seniors have a, I think it's called like a wedge or crunch blade on them. Um, it's crazy because I didn't used to not like this blade. Um, I don't know if they changed it since they originally came out with it, but um, lately I've been rocking with it and my blend's been coming out smooth and it's actually been helping me speed up, speed up the blends uh, and get, get the results I want faster. So we rocking with this. I'm gonna shape it a little bit, shape the top, make sure I got my uh, silhouette. You know what I mean? I know what it's kind of looking like as far as just the shape and whatnot. Trim these sides a little bit, lay it down. Get it all prepped up before I start my fade. You can see right here, this is where I'm trimming it out. This is gonna be like the, the slant type thing where the part's gonna be. I'm not gonna really slant it much, but uh, but yeah, we are gonna carve that out. Set that hairline down. Spray them with some whole spray, dry it up a little bit, line them up. the rich barber method for free like i promised i said i'm giving away a hundred thousand of these i want to give you one right now click the link and download your free digital version of the rich barber method all right until us today get this money i'm gonna begin my blend i got the lever all the way closed and i just start blending my way up this is how i do my blending always start the bottom part like real tight tight like slightly adjustments and it, right here you can see i'm following up with the wall detailers to make sure i fully get that guy line out and get st off to a great start with my blend. You always wanna make sure that you get off to a great start with your blend because it just helps everything else just flow together along the way. So make sure that bottom part's real tight and clean because that's what's gonna make it pop. You can see here I have a 1 16th guard on. Once I blend out with no guard, I follow up with the guard and I start with the lever open, then I blend my way downward. So I had the 1 16th, now I got the 1 8th. You can see that blend just looking like, like it ain't got no beginning or no end, you know what I mean? That's that God fade, you already know. So um, it's coming together, you know what I mean? You can see that little detail work, but the blend is looking nice. Now, that's why I started it kind of low, but you see I like gave myself plenty of room to really blend that out and have a nice, you know, light to dark transition where it kind of just looks like it just has, like I said, no beginning, no end, all right? So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You know what I mean? Start that initial guideline, blend that line out, start blending, fading it all the way up. We just doing small adjustments at first, making sure that we get off to a great start with the blend. And then as we work our way up, we'll open up the lever a little more. Now we working out, working with the guards, taking that up. Here in the back, you wanna make sure you blend all the way over so that it blends smoothly into the other side of the fade because I blend half at a time. So most people kind of do that, I feel like, because it allows you to just stand in one spot. Now I have to move the chair around too much so you can just 
but when you get to the back you got to make sure you blend that fully over all right so we're going to blend out the tips of the beer line that up keep it as high as possible get the bottom right sides Blend out that other side. Working with a full beard is is, is something I enjoy doing because I mean it's just you know full dark beard with the dark on top. It's just you know it's a good look. It just it just makes everything come together real nicely. So we're gonna put this part in here, and you can see that. It, it's right at the bottom of the where it starts to do the slope or or where I lay down the hair right so we're gonna put it all the way up against the thickness of the hair or the thicker part of the hair and then we're gonna just uh, bring it to the back and add a little uniqueness to it you know what I mean with the with the part in the back you can see how it, I brought it back forward and I actually like lined it up with you can see it, 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 it looks good with the side of his front lineup. You can see it, it just matches it pretty good. So, um, or, or that corner of the lineup. I mean, that corner of the lineup actually lines up with the back part of the part where it begins to come forward. So you can see those angles line up nicely. So I think little things like that really make a difference. So, uh, you know, when you're doing your designs and parts and stuff like that, you can always consider that because it, it kind of just makes everything um the aesthetic of it just look better if that's the that's one way i can put it so now we're gonna grab the rich barber razor holder we're gonna put a swiss steel razor up in it close it up and get started So we're gonna hit him with the razor holder. We're gonna razor him up. We're gonna hit the beard. Make sure we're stretching out the skin, being light-handed. Uh, th these are switch steel razors, so they don't take much like pressure. I, I can kind of just let the razor do the work. So, um, so yeah, so once we get that done, we're gonna enhance it with the Pro Barber Kit 2. I got a brand new box right here. I need to re-up, so I, I grabbed one of these. We're gonna open it up. Showing you everything that it comes with. Application card, hole spray, hair fibers, application pump. You know what I mean? Make sure you take off two pop, the two tops of the hair fibers before you put on the actual pump. And then we're ready to go. So we're going to spray them with the hole spray. And then Damn. enhance it with the hair fibers. And we just lightly doing it. He, he's not thinning or anything like that. But this is just going to make the cut pop even more so we're gonna follow up with the liners tighten that up bam bam and this is one of my favorite cuts and i'm glad i could share it with y'all i'm glad we captured it on camera um make sure to leave a comment leave some feedback let me know what y'all think let me know what type of content y'all would want to see in the future That's the final look. Bam. Okay. We did that, right? Appreciate y'all. Make sure you stay tapped in. We, I'm spraying him with shit. We over here got the beard oil. Provis beard oil. We're going to let him hit, hit his beard with that. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to give him a gift. You know what I mean? I get, give my models a gift. He got the shampoo and conditioner. He can go home and keep his shit fresh with it. Make sure we keep a healthy scalp, healthy hair. And I'm out, man. I'm too good.